we just finished a month-long stay in Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. In that time, we completely fell in love with this magical city. Anytime that we do a long-term stay somewhere, we like to gather all of our experiences and make a video on it and put it here for you guys so you have some sort of resource for your own trip, which hopefully you guys will plan a trip to Sydney <laughs> soon because my goodness. Yeah, it's the best. So in this video, we are going to be going over where we stayed, our favorite cafes, the coolest markets we visited, best things to do in Sydney, things to see, best beaches, and the best restaurants and bars in Sydney. Now with that being said, we always like to put a little disclaimer before these guide videos that mm -hmm. we do, which is just to say, this is entirely based off of our own personal experience and this is gonna be entirely subjective. Mm -hmm. So anytime someone's recommending their favorite spots or things, yeah. there's going to be another group of people who think, oh, this is not right, they missed yeah. this, this and that. <laughs> I know a lot of you Sydney siders that might be watching are going to get upset with us. <laughs> and for that, we want to tell you guys, we definitely welcome you to comment mm -hmm. down below. Whatever we missed, whatever you don't agree with, we want to see that because, hey, we're going to come back to Sydney. Yeah, we want to see more suggestions from you guys. And the people watching will also find useful stuff in the comments from you. So let's get straight into it, <laughs> starting with where we stayed in Sydney. This will be a quick section because we only stayed in one spot the entire time in Sydney, but we did a bunch of research before coming and we can definitely agree that Potts Point was a great, a great area. Great to base, stay. especially for first timers. Yes, especially for first timers. It was perfect. Potts Point is just such a cool and vibrant area and it has incredible cafes mm -hmm. and restaurants all over the place. <laughs> Plus it's well connected by public transportation and the cherry on top is that it's probably the most affordable of all the well-known areas to stay in Sydney, yeah. which trust us, you are going to need any help you can get <laughs> when it comes to saving money in Sydney. Yeah. We will link the Airbnb that we stayed in for the month in Sydney down below because it was a great price. Mm -hmm. Great is what I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still expensive, but it was one of the best prices we could find. It was a great Airbnb and it was in an amazing location, literally like two feet from our favorite cafe. Oh. Yes. Probably in the whole world. <laughs> Which, speaking of, let's get started with the best cafes mm -hmm. in Sydney, in our opinion. Australia is known to have some of the best coffee in the entire world. And we have to say we agree <laughs> with that <laughs> statement. We tried so many cafes all over the city. Potts Point is just overpowered in terms of really great cafes being yeah. in that area. Like, all of the cafes we're about to recommend mm -hmm. are in Potts Point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're biased because we live there yeah. but these four are the favorites from mm. us starting with number one which is barrel one coffee this was a super cute spot the coffee here was unbelievably good mm -hmm. it's like this corner spot yeah you can just walk right up place your order mm. it'll be ready real quick and one thing we definitely have to highlight is the cinnamon crumpets you guys, we ordered these too much. They were so good. You have to go there at least to just try that mm -hmm. and a cup of coffee. The next one we want to recommend is room 10, which we had the first day we got to Australia. Yeah. And we probably went a million times after that. <laughs> we made friends with the people in there, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, we which did. I definitely want to highlight them in particular. Mm -hmm. The owners, the people that serve you, everyone that works there mm -hmm. is just amazing. Yeah. One of them, actually, we talk to her every day almost. Mm -hmm. Her name Name's Beer, yeah. and she subscribed to our channel and everything. She's just the most kind human being. So, so sweet. If she's watching, hi, yes. we love you so much. <laughs> you made every morning so bright. Mm -hmm. The food here was so good, mm -hmm. but even more than that, the coffee was incredible. The next one we want to talk about is Pina. This one is the best out of our cafes that we're recommending mm -hmm. in terms of food. The food was so good, specifically the sourdough pancake oh, blew man. me away. It was so, so good. Oh gosh, it's so <laughs> unbelievably good. It's like this huge yeah. pancake with fresh fruits and mm -hmm. honey and maple oh, syrup. It was so good. Oh. 
Okay, and then this one that we're gonna talk about is probably my favorite cafe. I and mine. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. Okay. Literally, it's to the point where I even bought merch from these guys yeah, in the you end. Did. I bought a tote bag that says <laughs> the name of the cafe, which is primary. This spot doesn't even make food, so it's not like gonna compete with mm -hmm. the other ones in terms of if you want to have breakfast or whatever there. But their pastries are great. Pastries are great, mm -hmm. but literally this is the best cup of coffee you will ever have in your life. It's so good. I'm confident in saying that. <laughs> they are so fast. Yeah. There's always a line There's out the door. There's always a line out the door. It's so busy. And yet you can still get your coffee in 10 minutes. 10 minutes tops. Yeah. Now let's get into the next section, which is our favorite markets that we visited while we were in Sydney. Our favorite thing to do in any major city is visit markets because we get to be around a bunch of the local people, mm -hmm. do some shopping, see fresh produce, art, jewelry, clothes, mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff, all in one area. The first one we want to recommend is the Rocks Market, which when we first got here, we thought it was actually quite small. Mm -hmm. But then we turned the corner and it just kept going on and on and on. It had so much stuff from food to clothes, shoes, jewelry, yeah. journals, like so much different things. Mm -hmm. One thing I loved about it is the location of it. It starts from all the way to Circular Quay, really. Yeah. And then it ends up all the way under the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Mm -hmm. So the whole time you're getting these great views of the harbour. And at the end, we sat down under the bridge mm -hmm. and we were looking right at the opera house. Yeah, together. it was gorgeous. The next one we want to recommend is Carriage Works, mm. which I would say is my favorite out of oh, the yeah. two. There was so many flowers. You can make your own bouquet. Yeah, I made her he Valentine's made bouquet. Day bouquet. Yeah, it was so <laughs> sweet. And they had lots of fresh fruits, pastries, and bread, all different types of things. Yeah, we went there. We gathered a bunch of stuff for a picnic mm -hmm. and it was like the perfect place to go yeah. because there's so many goodies to pick from. <laughs> we definitely recommend this spot. All right, now let's get into our favorite things to do in the city. These activities are gonna be things that you have to pay to do, but we definitely think are worth the price. Yes, starting with Pylon Lookout Point. This is a great alternative to the popular Sydney bridge climb, mm -hmm. <laughs> which we wish we could have done, but yeah. sadly it is just priced astronomically yeah, high. The yeah. Pylon Lookout Point was 20 Australian dollars. Mm -hmm. We'll write it on screen just in case. And you go almost as high as you go on the bridge climb and you get this killer view of the whole city from up there. Plus there's a little museum and stuff. We learned yeah. a little bit about like the <laughs> making of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It was just a cool activity yeah. and very affordable. Mm -hmm. The next thing to do is to catch a ferry to Manly. This is amazing. It's yes. just a normal like transportation yeah, I'm just sure. public transport. Yeah, which made it super cheap. And it was one of the best ferries we took probably ever. <laughs> yeah, it's the best ferry probably ride ever. ever. The next one that we want to recommend is taking a lunch cruise from Sydney Harbor. We did this using Get Your Guide mm -hmm. and it was an amazing experience. It was so much fun. Such beautiful views. The food was actually amazing. Oh, the food was so good. <laughs> Everything was just so nice. The next thing we want to recommend is a day trip to the Blue Mountains, mm -hmm. which the Blue Mountains is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, yeah. and it was incredible. We saw wild mountain goats. Yeah. <laughs> we saw like birds yeah. of all sorts. Yeah, he got bit his I, uh, on his finger. I definitely <laughs> almost lost a finger out there. So, you know, that You're was fun. You're out there in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really fun. Yeah. And we did it through a guided tour, which we highly recommend, especially for those of you who don't really know where to go mm -hmm. in the Blue Mountains. It was really well laid out. We're going to link that tour down below. Definitely recommend. Yeah. If you're in Sydney, there's no excuse to not go see this beautiful, beautiful part mm -hmm. of Australia, which is the Blue Mountains. <laughs> the last one we want to talk about is the Westpac Open Air Cinema. This one is more of a seasonal one because yeah. it's only held from, I believe, yeah. January 15th to February 20th. It's like the summer months. It is definitely the most magical movie watching yeah. experience I've ever had. It's so beautiful. There's like the screen and mm. then you can see the opera house and the bridge. <laughs> It's ridiculous, it's you so guys. Gorgeous. Absolutely ridiculous. I loved it. I loved it so much. It was amazing. <laughs> this next section is our favorite things to see in Sydney. And the difference between this section and the previous section of things to do is that all of these things are completely free. Mm -hmm. 
and we believe they're just as worthy <laughs> of a spot on your itinerary yeah. in Sydney. Starting with Darling Harbour, which was such a beautiful place to mm -hmm. just like stroll around yeah. and people watch and look at the boats on the water. Uh, on a sunny day, or as the <laughs> Sydney siders say, a diamond day, <laughs> the water's just like glistening yeah. and sparkling. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. And that leads me to the next one, which is roaming around Circular Quay, mm -hmm. which is pretty much the most iconic harbor area of Sydney. Mm -hmm. This is where you're gonna find the opera house, the opera bar, ferries to take you to Manly and mm -hmm. all those places. You could easily spend a full day here mm -hmm. just wandering around. <laughs> Man, it just, it can't be beat. And that leads me to the next one, which is probably very obvious at this point, yeah. <laughs> but it is to see the Sydney Opera House. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're gonna see it, yeah. but we just had to throw it in you here. You have to put it on the <laughs> list. It's one of the most mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. incredible and impressive works of yeah. architecture. And then walking distance from the Opera House is the next one, which is the Royal Botanic Gardens. This is honestly something that when we went there, I was like, why is this free? Yeah, it was so beautiful. There was so much to see. Yeah. There were so many plants that I've never seen anywhere else. Yeah. It felt like a different <laughs> world, honestly. Yeah. And it's huge, you guys. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, a very peaceful place. Mm -hmm. You can't believe you're in the middle of like a super bustling city. Yeah, we went there so many times and just sat there and it was just, it was so nice and peaceful. And one of the places in the Botanic Gardens that is our favorite place to just sit and relax is the next thing we wanted to talk about, which is Mrs. Macquarie's chair. Mm -hmm. I'm butchering the pronunciation, <laughs> but this is a very well-known and beautiful spot to just sit yeah. in the Botanic Gardens mm -hmm. and look yeah and view. this to me was probably where we had the best view of the sydney harbor bridge and the opera house together mm. it was just the perfect like view of them the next thing we wanted to recommend is the art gallery of new south wales mm -hmm. which you would think that the art galleries in australia are not free but they actually are which is such a plus and this one in particular mm. was just so beautiful all of the art ranged from like sculpture sculptures to older paintings to more modern classic so much to see there's so much to you see. you could easily spend i don't know a full <laughs> day we just got lost in there it was so amazing and just a cherry on top that it's free we yeah. would easily have paid for that that actually leads me to the next thing which is another museum and it was called the white rabbit gallery mm -hmm. this one was a lot smaller but it was so well curated and so well done yeah rylan was particularly yeah. impressed with this one Every piece was very intentional. Yeah. It was laid out in a way that made you think. And I love intentional museums and mm. galleries, so this one was really stunning. Okay, the next one is Wendy Whitley's Secret Garden. Mm -hmm. You guys, <laughs> this one was so beautiful. Yeah. This is definitely the best view in Sydney. Yeah, it was, I yeah. would say, actually. It has to be, because <laughs> we just sat there for mm. I don't know how long. Hours. Yeah. I, I read through like... 20 chapters of my book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the view of the Harbour Bridge mm -hmm. from there and all the greenery and butterflies. <laughs> it's like such an escape from the city. You're just yeah. like, how the heck is this also here? The last thing we wanted to talk about to see is the Bondi to Kuji Walk or mm -hmm. Kuji to Bondi Walk. Yeah, depending on which way you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. We went the Kuji to Bondi way. Yeah, that's the way that was recommended to us mm -hmm. and we would have to agree. We didn't yeah. do the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what it is is we had never heard of these before mm -hmm. coming to Sydney but apparently it's like a thing here in Australia. Mm -hmm. It's a coastal walk. It took us what three hours? Yeah I would say two like to three two, hours. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's with us stopping a lot obviously to film and mm -hmm. do stuff but you could easily do this in probably like an hour and a half to two. And the reason we liked the Kuji to Bondi version of it is that you do the full walk and then you end up on the most iconic beach in Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> And they have plenty of restaurants and bars and cool things to do right there. It was just such a beautiful day. One of our favorite days in Sydney. Yeah, it really was. So that's why we wanted to put this at the number one spot in things to see. One of the main things that Sydney is known for is the countless incredible beaches. Mm -hmm. We have to be completely honest. We could have spent a year in Sydney and not have seen all of the amazing beaches that it has to not offer. Not even close. Yeah. So this list is based off of 
our favorites and what was recommended by our audience mm -hmm. and locals that we met in Sydney. Yeah, obviously before we get into them, go visit Bondi Beach. Yes. It's <laughs> iconic, you have to see it, you mm -hmm. can't leave Sydney and not go to Bondi Beach. But we're not going to put it in the category because personally it wasn't amongst our favorite mm -hmm. beaches. It is a bit overrated, yeah. but it's worthy of what it's been rated. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's iconic. So with that being said, let's get into it. Starting with Gordon's Bay. We actually found this one on our walk from Kuji to Bondi. Mm -hmm. And it was the most like stunning little pocket <laughs> of a beach. It yes. was so small, but amazing. When we saw it, we were like, honestly, why don't we just stop here <laughs> and just finish the rest of the day right here? Yeah. But we had to finish the walk. So <laughs> to be completely honest with you, we didn't actually have a beach day on Gordon's Bay yeah. but it's one of the most beautiful beaches we saw in yeah, Sydney. Definitely. The next one we want to talk about is Manly Beach. In terms of big popular beaches mm -hmm. with lots of people on them this was probably our favorite mm -hmm. in Sydney. <laughs> it was so beautiful we had our picnic there yeah. and there were so many restaurants and cafes mm. gelato spots around yeah. and also we saw probably one of the most beautiful sunsets ever yeah there yeah <laughs> and the last one we're gonna recommend is is Camp Cove, yes. which was the best beach ever. I think it's probably my favorite beach ever. Uh, I mean, we have we have to <laughs> calm down when we do this, but yes, I would say probably mine too. It's, it's top five. Top five, that's, that's where we'll leave it. But this one was our favorite for sure yeah. in Sydney. There was a cafe right there where we uh, got an acai bowl. One of the best acai yeah. bowls we've had in a long time. So good, and it was just so beautiful. The water was so, like completely clear. Uh, and you have a beautiful skyline of the city across the mm. ocean which was just stunning you kind of feel like you have found something that the locals have like kept hidden from people <laughs> so sorry in advance for ruining that yeah. <laughs> but it was so beautiful and now we are at our favorite category of any guide that we do which is the best restaurants and bars starting with the two most expensive mm. ones that's a slight disclaimer we want to put on yeah. there we almost left these off the list because of their pricing Mm. but they're honestly worth the price because of the experience that comes with them. Yeah. The first one being dinner at the Sky Tower, mm -hmm. which was so amazing. The Sky Tower literally rotates while you're eating your food. Yeah, and it's the tallest building in Sydney, so oh, yeah. you Forgot get the that. most amazing <laughs> view while you're there mm -hmm. eating. Yes, it's expensive, but mm. the food is amazing. Yeah, it's super delicious, oh. and the drinks were incredible. Yeah, and the view, once again, killer. So <laughs> if you're looking for a special date night, and you have the room in your budget for it definitely worth it in our opinion for like a one-time yeah. thing we actually booked this using get your guide so mm -hmm. I'm gonna link that down below for you guys just in case you would like to book it for yourself we would recommend <laughs> it it was really cool really fun and a great meal and the last expensive one that we wanted to talk about is the dining room at icebergs mm -hmm. the food was incredible <laughs> it, was <really> good. <laughs> it was really really good the cacio e pepe yeah the cacio e pepe that he I had, got I stole it from him because oh. it was too good yeah it was really delicious good. they definitely hand make the pasta mm -hmm. in-house so yeah. all the pasta dishes we had were amazing incredible yeah. and you can't forget about the view yeah i know we haven't the even view mentioned the view is ridiculous you get a view of the iceberg swimming pools mm -hmm. right below you and also obviously bondi beach yeah which is just incredible this next one is so freaking good mm -hmm. you guys it's called apollo and it's greek food oh. It was so good. There's a fixed menu that you can do. It's a banquet menu. They do this a lot in Australia where it's like a fixed couple of courses that they mm -hmm. predetermine for you. It's like their highlights of the menu. We would suggest doing that. We did that. There was not one miss. <laughs> Everything was so yeah. good. The next restaurant we want to recommend is Toddy's, which is my personal favorite. Yeah. It was incredible Italian food. Mm. They had a wood fire oven right there just to make these like uh, wood fire pizza bread things. I don't know. It what was like were. a bubble of yeah. just goodness. <laughs> of dough, of yeah. yummy dough. <laughs> it was so good. And we got the burrata. Prosciutto, and... which they were chopping right mm -hmm. there in front of you. Everything, amazing ingredients. Yeah. And this is like a Sydney staple. Mm -hmm. Like when we asked you guys, our audience, for the best restaurant in Sydney, mm -hmm. this was the one we heard the most. Mm -hmm. And it definitely <laughs> earns that place. It's really amazing. But I want to talk about my favorite restaurant <laughs> on this list, which is Ezra. Ezra was 
one of the best meals I've ever had. It was really delicious. Yeah. For some reason, Rylan is not with me on this one. I am. She thinks it's amazing. I, I'm not taking that away. But I wasn't trying to go back every day like you were. I was literally like, why are we going anywhere else? <laughs> we found the restaurant. Yeah. This is the best place. It was really good. It's just a cool spot. Really yeah. amazing food. I think it's my favorite place we ate in Sydney. Mm -hmm. So I really want to suggest it to you guys. Try it out. Let us know. Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk about the bars. We're not big drinkers yeah. per se, so we don't have a full separate category for mm -hmm. this, but we wanted to talk about two in particular, starting with Opera Bar. And this one particularly for the view. Obviously you get a view of the Opera House and of the Sydney Harbor Bridge, which was beautiful, especially at sunset. Yeah, you can sit right there on the water with mm -hmm. your drinks. And we just did that for sunset mm -hmm. and we were sitting there with all the people yeah. all around and you're just like having a nice drink mm -hmm. on the water mm -hmm. you see the opera house and you're just like life is beautiful man <laughs> so this is a great spot just mm -hmm. to go and take in an amazing view and have a nice drink the last bar that we're gonna recommend is Baxter Inn mm. which was amazing this it was my favorite it was a whiskey bar yeah. which I'm not a whiskey fan the drinks and the cocktails were delicious <laughs> they're playing really cool jazz music Mm -hmm. The bartenders are dressed really cool, like yeah. old style, 50s, mm -hmm. so fun, and the drinks were great. So that is going to do it for our Sydney guide, you guys. We hope that you guys got some value out of this. If you did, then please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And for those of you who feel like we missed something <laughs> or we got it wrong, mm -hmm. we once again would love to hear from you in the comments. Yes. Besides that, if you want to see anything that we talked about in action, we're going to put Put the playlist that has all of our Sydney travel vlogs in it right here so that you can click that and check out how incredible this city truly is. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we love and appreciate you guys so much <laughs> and we will see you next week from Brisbane, yes, Australia. So excited. <laughs>